Hello everyone. This is a presentation of building a machine model for dog breed identification using Kaggle dataset. The object of this project is to build a machine model that is capable of performing breed classification of the dogs. This project aims to build a model that has acceptable performance, that is, the model neither overfits nor underfits. The target value of this model is to classify 120 different types of dog breeds. Since there isn't enough data set, the accuracy of the model will be compromised. Henceforth, the performance of the model needs to be increased, which could be done by adding multiple hidden layers to the CNN model and also by varying the hyperparameters. The first and the foremost thing to be considered while designing a model is about the data. The data is split into a training as well as a testing data set. We are going to use a Keras along with the TensorFlow backend which helps us in designing the model and the model is going to be later used for testing purposes. The training data set is split into a validation data set which is used to improve the performance of the model. As a part of pre-processing, we are going to use images with resizing as well as normalizing it. The actual CNN model is constituting of a convolution layer, the fully connected layers as well as dropout layers. After having 3 to 4 convolution layers, these outputs are connected to a fully connected layer and later to the output which is of 120 in number. This model is later used for training and after it is trained, it is used for testing the images. The model was built using the CNN as mentioned earlier. The performance of the model was found to be very low. The model kept overfitting due to the larger capacity of the training error and the test error. As mentioned, there was a le less amount of data that was, that was provided for training. Since there isn't an enough data, the model overfits by providing a huge difference between the training and the testing error. Hence, the initial performance of the model was very less. The second thing we considered to improve the performance was increasing the epochs, but the CN model still overfitted due to the increase in the number of epochs. And the third was to by adding the multiple hidden layers, and hence there was also an overfit due to the increase in the number of hidden layers. Now, let us look at the methods to improve the model. Since we couldn't find a better CNN model, we have other options. One could be the pre-trained model, such as VGGNet, Google and ResNet. Using these models, we can train our data for the better performance. The second thing is that, since we didn't have enough data sets, we could improve them by changing the orientation of the images, which could be done by scaling them. And by checking with the different activation functions and the different stride values for kernel and max pull filters, we could also achieve the performance. And building the models in different low-level languages other than Python, such as C, C++, the accuracy could be enhanced. And also by decreasing the number of bits, we can we could improve the performance. 